Welcome to BSD CAN 2016. Show of hands, who's here for the very first time? Okay, leave your hands up. Wait, leave your hands up if, if you're here for the first time. Okay, everyone who's been here before, look to the nearest person who has their hand up. It is your job later on this morning to introduce that person to two other people here, okay? <laughs> two, other peop two other people here that have been here before, uh, ask that person who had their hand up what they're interested in, and then you find someone else here at BST Can who is also interested in that, okay? Anyone not want to do that? Good. And usually the person you want to introduce them to is Peter Wen, okay? <laughs> Could I speak up? Can we turn the volume up a bit? Andrew? There's an echo. There's an echo. So if I just talk loudly, you can hear me OK? Or is it just that the speaker is doing it weird? Well, we'll just see. Oh, Groff is in the house. Out of my hands. No, 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 no. You're responsible for him until the end closing session when he gets you don't transferred. Know what you have you end up at the oak anyway. <laughs> no, no. The handler is responsible until the handover, which is at the closing session. Is that better? Hands up if there's an empty seat. People are looking for seats. Two seats. Two seats down here. Seat, seat. <clears throat> yeah, you can get in. Everybody in. For the, for the new people, there are a lot of interesting things that happened during the opening session. Maybe that's the closing session. Wait, where am I? Oh, yeah, wrong one. There, that's better. Hey, okay. welcome to Ottawa. Uh, every afternoon, there's a closing, uh, changing the guard session up on Parliament Hill. If you've never seen one, go and see one. Don't do it today or tomorrow, though. Um, one of the things we've wondered, uh, there's only a few people that have been to every BSG can. Who's been to every BSG can? David Maxwell? I can't see who's in the back. Kirk? OK, so that's four of us. All right. How many have missed just one? How many have missed just two? And the guy that's, one of the guys that's missed just one is Andrew. And, put your hand up, Andrew. He, he's the AV guy. He's been with us every single year from U of O. So in this session, we're going to th go through the sponsors. Uh, we have a few points of order that you should know about the conference. We have some prizes, some hardware giveaways. Um, and then we're going to go on to the talks. And I also have a, a short little discussion about a clock. You'll be interested in that, maybe. Okay. IX Systems and EMC have been sponsors for a very long time. Thank you. Not just for these sponsors, but for all sponsors. If you have day-to-day -day contact with those sponsors, tell them, hey, I noticed you sponsored BSD Can. And tell them why BSD Can is important to you, please. I'll pass that on to Andy. Thank you. <laughs> FreeBSD Foundation, Google, and my employer, Talos. Thank you. <laughs> Tarsnap. Who doesn't know Colin? Colin? <laughs> Colin? Rod Grimes. Rod Grimes? <laughs> Colin. If you don't know who Rod Grimes is, look it up. <laughs> you all know who Intel is, and you VBSDCon. Where's the guy from VBSDCon? Yeah. <laughs> NYI hosts a lot of infrastructure, including some of my servers. Uh, Backtrace is here, and Microsoft, if you don't have your coupon for a, a VM, 
I'm sure you can still get one. Thank you. Anyone not know Alan? 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 Alan's down here. Um, am I pronouncing Nets commune right? Okay. Say it again. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Where, 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 where? Oh, over here. Hi. Domo, Mellanox, Michael. Where's Michael? Michael's here. Thank you, Michael. And Shopify. Thank you. And with BSG inside, we've got NetApp and PlayStation. Yay, PlayStation. Now, the program committee does the job of reviewing the submitted uh, talks and deciding which ones you don't want to hear. <laughs> and that's harder than it sounds, because sometimes we get down to the top n talks, and it has to be n minus 3, and we can't figure out which three talks are the least deserving, because that part is, is actually very difficult. So if you see these people, ask them, can I be on program committee? OK, so think about that for next year. Thank you. Is Jennifer here? If you were at registration last night, you might have met Jennifer. She was there for a little while. All the speakers have heard from Jennifer, but probably not met her. But she's been helping me out now. This is the second year, third year, third year, I think, of doing a lot of the things that allow me to do the things that only I can do at the moment. Um, Drew is on the registration desk. Drew's been here every year, um, I'm sure. I'm sure she's been here every year, even from the days when, when she used to live in Ottawa. Adam Thompson does a lot of work for me, um, talking to the hotels and getting the website up to date. And Brody, is Brody in? No, Brody's been doing a lot of running around for me. Please go get some photocopies. Please go get the badges, stuff like that. Thank you. OK, lunch is in about three hours. So if you're going to the BOF, uh, a BOF is a birds of a feather session. Basically, you've got a topic, and you'd like to talk about it. And a bunch of people all get together and talk about it. It's different from a lecture where someone stands out at the front and drones on and on and on. Instead, you're all talking amongst yourselves about an interested, a common interest. So grab lunch, go to the BOF. The BOF are on the schedules. It's going to be snacks and coffee at 2.30. Later on tonight, 6 p.m., there's Doc Sprints in DMS 1120, which is just over here. Hacker Lounge is in the ground floor of residence. That's on the map. Everyone is welcome there. You don't have to be a coder. You don't have to be a contributor or anything like that. Just come in, bring your laptop. There's Wi-Fi. Hang out. Tomorrow morning, don't show up so early. <laughs> there will be uh, food and beverages out there, just like there was this morning, only it's an hour later. Hmm. Oh, yeah. When you're in the Hacker Lounge, bring your own extension cord. It always helps. Leave it tidy, ground floor residence, every night, Wednesday to Saturday. But you can't be there Friday morning from 6 to 8 AM, OK? There's another event on, OK? Yes. <laughs> Last person to leave, lock it up. If it is locked, the key is at the uh, ground floor uh, registration desk, uh, lobby, uh, hotel check-in thing. This list of BOFs may be out of date, but I talked about the BOFs earlier. There's one on ZFS. There's one on Haskell. There's a MetaBOF, which is uh, all about user groups. Um, isn't it George? Is that right, George? George? Yep. Um, Bacula and backups. I'll be doing one on Bacula and backups. And then there's one on BSGs and privacy technologies. Also SGR. SGR got added later. I'm sorry. I created these slides before that. Sorry? What does SDR stand for? Software defined radio. Software radio. So basically, you get a radio, you plug it in, it works. So you like, 
it's like a USB key. If we give you these lovely bags with Intel on the outside, <laughs> if for some reason you can't find enough from your luggage, give them back to us. We give them to a food bank. They use it to have their clients take the food home with. At the very bottom of every event in the schedule, there's this little feedback thing. It's out of date, I think. This is two years ago, but it's out of date. Click on that, give your feedback. Let me know how much you liked my session. OK. Somebody? Ooh, look around. Have you lost your ticket for the party? Because someone just found a ticket for the party. Now I have three. <laughs> we can auction it off. All right. We have a hardware giveaway. Sean Webb from Harden BSD has some hardware that he wants to give away. And the way we're going to do this, who's the oldest here? Put up your hand. <laughs> who's over 70? Who's over 60? How old are you, Jim? What month? You older than 62? I guess he wins. <laughs> Tell us what this hardware is. So this is a Raspberry Pi 3. It includes already the SD card that you'll need with it and a serial cable, so it's completely ready to go. Uh, main purpose for this is to get the BSDs running on the RPi3 so we can take away some market share from Linux. <laughs> so the easiest way to do this, if you can come down and get it now, please, otherwise someone will try to impersonate you later <laughs> and steal it. Now, the next one is youngest in the crowd, and I think I already know who that might be. Is there anyone here under 20? Who's under 20? Anyone else? Anyone under 18? Anyone under 18? OK. You win. <laughs> There's lots of ways to figure out how to use this. Yep. Who got their source commit bit in the past month? Anyone in the past month get their source commit bit in the past month? <laughs> sit down, sir. Sit down. <laughs> Anyone less than a month? Anyone two months ago? Anyone in the... All right. <laughs> um, I, I think I know who wins the next one, too. Um, would it be Rod or Kirk, though? Who, who's been... Rod has the oldest UID. For, for the free BSD project, yeah, but this is across all BSD. Okay. It's it clearly for, for the people listening, the candidates are arguing about who's older. Yeah. It says any clearly says any BSD. Would you would you work with it though? Would you would you use it? Okay. Thank you, Sean.
One of the benefits of running your own conference is you get to stand up the front and talk about something that nobody wants to listen to. <laughs> I'm going to talk about a clock. And the reason I'm going to talk about a clock is I was listening. listening. Um, uh, my girlfriend, Kathy, is a, geri is a NP practitioner with a specialty in geriatrics. When you get older, one of the things that they do is to test how your memory works. And one of the things they do is they get you to draw a clock. And then they get you to draw a time on that clock. And I listened to a radio broadcast about a guy who had great difficulty with this. He had completely forgotten how to draw a clock. And so what he did is he sat down and analyzed what a clock was. And he found three different levels to a clock. And when you listen to these three different levels, you find out what a terrible design a clock is. It, it is not logical at all. For instance, the biggest hand denotes the smallest unit of time. And the, lar the, the smallest hand denotes the largest unit of time. And the middle one denotes the middle time. So, and what's even stupider is that the same values, the same numbers represent different values depending on which scale you're reading it on. So this may be noon, but it's one minute afternoon. But it could also be, you know, it, it's, it, even explaining it is hard. Like, this is five minutes, or it's an hour, depending on which scale you're using. If a clock was to be designed today and submitted as part of a UI, people would ridicule it and say, that's terrible. That's absolutely stupid. Why are you doing it that way? Nobody can use that. Yet everyone here, I assume, knows how to use this. And everyone considers it. You look up the clock and you can tell what time it is right away, just like that. There's, there's no thought process really involved that you can see of. So it's actually not a bad design. But if you were to see it for the first time and you listen to the points I just made, you say, that's terrible. It would be flamed to crap on any user list, I'm sure. Anyway, thank you for. Yeah. Yeah, it's AM or PM, you mean? What? Correct. Uh, it was pointed out that um, a given clock face represents two different times a day at any point in time. Yeah. So just because it seems stupid to you when you first see it, give it a little bit of time. It may actually turn out to be the best thing ever. All right. So following on from that, everyone was here for the first time at some time. So. Don't be so judgmental of people that are here for the first time. Welcome them in. Tell them what beaver tails are. <laughs> Tell them why they should come to the closing session. Sorry? And don't push them into the sinkhole. <laughs> Any questions so far? Yes, if you're type 1 diabetic, beaver tails are not the best for you. Anyone else? Any other questions? All right. Because if there's no more questions, you go on to the talks. Do you really want to go on to the talks? No, we want to hear you. I thought so. <laughs> yes. Good question. This year's charity auction recipient, as in most previous years, is the Ottawa Mission. If you ever walk down this street into the market, the Ottawa Mission will be on the right-hand side. And they get the re results of this conference and the other conference I run, which is PGCon. And I forget the amount they got last time. I think it was, do you remember? I can't, I can't recall. It's on Twitter somewhere. $1,500 or something. And it all, all gets raised from the charity auction at the end, where, yes, I auction off a cookie. And I auctioned off, at the Postgres database users conference, I auctioned off a toothbrush for $100. Is it the one with the footprint on it? No, not that one. <laughs> not that one. 
it, it, was an or, it was a toothbrush from Japan that had the word Oracle written on the toothbrush. <laughs> and those of you that know databases know that Oracle and Postgres, one is much better than the other. <laughs> Any other questions? Any other things to add? No? Yes? Ah. The, it, it was pointed out that the hands on the clock make perfect sense because you don't go by the length of the arms, you go by the width of the arms. Yeah. I don't think it would get by. Uh, I, I think if it was designed today, people would be ridicule it. Yeah. Okay. Oh, um. Oh. Oh. Yep. Yep. Question. There was humorous anecdotes from Warner Losh at the back of the room, and everybody <laughs> laughed. He, he says he just thinks of these things. I'm sorry, Lindy. Um, OK, so I guess it's on to the talks then. Um, have a good time. And if you have any questions, ask the registration desk. Put it on Twitter or Facebook or something like that. Uh, hashtag BSD can. Thank you. See you soon. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.